I'm Sir TapTap, and this is Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. And I've been pleasantly impressed with this, actually. I was all ready for this game to suck and be grindy and horrible and terrible. And uh, the real pessimist, and I haven't been impressed with mobiles or Nintendo's mobile stuff so far. But this, uh... oh, damn. I think we're in a cutscene with Isabel. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, this plays a lot closer to regular Animal Crossing than I was ever expecting. So, um, basically, you run a camp in this game, and you can invite the villagers from Animal Crossing. Uh, sorry for the audio and video quality, by the way. Uh, I can't... So this is only in pre-release. Parker, please. If you hear weird noises, that's Parker. Um, this is only in a pre-release thing in test markets. No, I can't help you get it. But yes, this is basically the final version. Um, it'll come out in November worldwide. Um... And I can't sync my my Nintendo account, and I can't actually play this in Knox App Player at all. Um, and my usual method of recording on mobile didn't work, and I can't get this phone to project to my HDMI. And basically, I have to record on my phone, and it's it's bad. But uh, yeah, this is the shop area. Um, I haven't been here before actually, so I don't know exactly how all this works. But uh, it's got bells. It's got furniture. Um, let's take a picorino at the uh, regular campsite. I don't know why I said regular. It's, it's nothing creepy that happens in, in the campsite. It's definitely legit. But, uh, you basically go around, you befriend the animal friends, and, uh, once they're friendly enough, you can invite them to your campsite, and it's, it's kind of a lot freer, in a way, than, uh, regular Animal Crossing. Because, like, in regular Animal Crossing... Uh, you kind of don't have control over whether people move in or leave. But in this, as long as you're enough friend, if you, you have enough friend points, because that's how friendships work, points. Uh, if you have enough friendship points, they'll come and you can just pick who lives in your camp. And you also have menus. The menus in this game are real menus. Oh, sorry about this. I have to screenshot this. I've been making a guide for this. Yes, it came out today and I'm already making a guide. Wait, I don't need to screenshot it. I'm recording it. I can just look at the video. Well, I don't know what's wrong. I've been, I've been playing it and um, keep, keeping track of stuff. Building amenities. Friendship level increase. Okay. So this game kind of simplified the different personalities of... Well, it didn't really simplify, but it has like... There's four different themes in this game now. So there's sporty, there's cute, there's natural, and there's cool. And so... Uh, this guy here is a natural because he's lazy and you need you need to pick some natural furniture for them to be able to show up or for them to join you and the first ones you know it does the sort of typical mobile game like logarithmic scale where the very first day you get like so much stuff and it kind of slows down so like there we go I did not pay attention to what he said at all um, basically your first few contacts are really easy to get to to be friends with and to move in. Um, they just need to be friend level two, which like happens almost immediately. Um, these new people that I unlocked, uh, they need to be level three in order to, um, in order to come by. And oops, let me show you. Uh, what was I trying to show you? Oh, yeah, they have these requirements. So you gotta get, uh, you have to craft all of this stuff for them. You know, they have preferred themes and all that stuff. And it's actually pretty cool. So your the interface functions basically like it, it's like you have a pretend phone in the game and all of the options are apps and stuff. And it's actually really nice because like I said, it kind of frees you a bit from a some standard stuff in um the game. So like you can edit your character. And it, you don't have to get your hair cut. You don't have to, like, answer a billion questions to, you know, pick which face you've got. You just, you know, get a little mohawk. Get some droopy eyes. Get some orange hair. You know, have black eyes. You know, get a little bit of a tan in there. There you go. By, by the way, finally, real skin tones. You don't have to... You don't have to get a tan to change your skin color, which... It's the only way to do it in uh, earlier Animal Crossing games, so that was that's a nice addition. Um, 
the menus i never liked how animal in animal crossing basically menus are like dialogue so you like if you want to change like if you want to see the inventory catalog in normal animal crossing you have to walk all the way over to nooks you have to talk to nook it's like a five ten minute affair it's like a whole ordeal and this one you just open this menu click catalog wait for it to load here's all the clothes you know it's nice and zippy um i don't think i can how do i get back my icon is oh I've never used this recorder before. This is the YouTube Gaming's recorder. I'm not, I'm not used to this. But uh, there's there's interactions with friends. You can uh, you can sell items, and uh, other people can sell stuff. I don't have. I just have a couple friends that have been testing it out. Um, what did I do? What is this? Go go away. Do you see the menu at the top? I can't make that go away. Oh. Why am I in camera mode? What did I do? I don't want camera mode. Okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm still learning how the app works. But yeah, I've been really enjoying this. This is a pleasant surprise. I think it does do the mobile game thing where the first day is super fast and enjoyable. Mobile games like to front load the fun. So like the first day, it is super fun. It's like a regular game. And it's everything is super fun and super fast. And then over time, it gradually gets slower and slower. And I do feel that that's going to happen with this game. But, um, it doesn't feel too bad so far. And let's go... Let's go find some bugs. So the standard Animal Crossing bug catching and uh, fishing is in the game. There's no fish catalog and stuff, unfortunately. That was one of my favorite things to do in the game. So, like, fish, they're basically just crafting materials now. Um, well, they're not exactly... They're, like... Animals ask you to get bugs and fish, and then... Oh, that's a friend of mine, actually. Um, oops. Oh, you tap on the thing. I thought you just tap anywhere. Um, yeah, they, like, they'll ask for like fruits and uh, stuff that you can gather, and then they'll give you uh, crafting materials, and that's how you make stuff instead of buying stuff. And I actually kind of like it. Again, it's kind of free and open because in regular Animal Crossing, trying to get all of the items, it's kind of an ordeal. And, um, because, like, the way it works is that there's, like, three different rotations of items Nooks can have. And, um, you need a friend that has the different rotations in order to make it easier to complete the inventory thing. And I'm a big completionist, so that kind of annoys me. It does have a little bit less personality, I will admit. So, in regular Animal Crossing, all of the animals that you find are totally random. Like, they're preset animals, but... Like, Elois here, you know, this is like a designed character. But, um... Whether you get, say, Bob, or, um... You know, Elois down there, or whoever, was is random. So, like, you never know who's going to be in your town. In this game... Everybody starts with the same ones, and as you level up, everyone gets the same friends, so that's kind of a shame. That's kind of takes away the uniqueness, but it's not the worst thing in the world either. I wonder what level you get Bob at. Bob is like everybody's favorite villager. Mine is Gaston. Gaston is a creepy mother. He's like the Sonor card gauge of, uh, that's right, Parker. He's the Sonor card gauge of Animal Crossing. There's the honey is like a paid item. It's you can pay to speed things up, and you can pay to uh, to skip crafting and stuff. It hasn't been a big deal so far, but like I said, this is the first day. It's gonna get slower, I know, but uh, so far, so good. I do I do hope that they put in a catalog at least for the fish and stuff. Oh, and another thing about how it kind of simplifies things, uh, your inventory. How do I? get to my inventory oh it's under me there we go um your inventory you can store everything in your pockets except you have a limited number of collectible like handheld items um like to sell like these are things that you use you can either sell or you make requests with crafting materials oh there is a cap on crafting materials too i guess hmm I'm not sure how I feel about that one but um you can store every single item like every clothing item and so on, such as my hideous, ugly plaid shirt of barf. I, I did not pick this. It, the game gave it to me, I swear. 
I need to buy some clothes. I think you, you go to the shop or the stores for that, which is here. It is a little bit of a battery drain. It's not too big of a game though. It's uh, it's only 350 megabytes, and it looks it looks pretty good. I I, I would say. It lacks some of the fancy shaders of the uh, 3DS game, which is kind of a surprise with 3DS not exactly too powerful. But I guess maybe it's just an art style choice. But it looks pretty good. Very clean graphics. This, of course, it has Isabel. It's you gotta have Isabel at this point. Um, oh yeah, Isabel has kind of your beginner's guide, which hopefully I can supplement. Like I said, I've, I've been making a guide. Um, give me that. I actually don't like cherries. I don't. I don't like any of these shirts. Um, never mind, Mabel. You're Mabel, right? Mabel's the, yeah. Sable's the uh, the one that doesn't talk as much. I'm not interested in anything. Yeah, Sable's the one in the back there. They didn't get poor Sable an amiibo, did they? Anyway, you, you might not expect this, but I actually really do enjoy Animal Crossing a lot. And, uh, I don't know, maybe with Animal Crossing Switch, maybe I'll do some videos. But, uh, yeah, this is Animal Crossing Pockets Pocket Camp. And I've been surprised it does show that ad when you idle. <laughs> it's kind of annoying. Uh, it is obviously trying to sell stuff to you, and... I can tell there's going to be some mobile game annoyances, but uh, I'm I'm quite pleasantly surprised. Like I said, it's not out yet in worldwide. It's only in Australia. I can't help you get the game. I'm sorry. But uh, if you do play it or you wait to play the global release, um, at least so far, so good. If you check it out, maybe check out my guide, and I hope you enjoy it.